okay so in this session we are going to talk about the other two type of uh, joints that we have so like i said associations are predefined right these are predefined joints so in in the previous session in the example what we saw is we defined um class join on account and customer id right and that's what we used here right so if you need to join with a class quite frequently okay so you can create an association for that all right and use it in every report definition you want you don't have to specify the join condition and things again and again just for the reusability okay all right so let's see so i'm going to for the demo purpose i'm going to create an association for um for account id class or maybe customer whatever you wish to okay so cust associations are data type kind of rule so data model association create a new association let's say customer okay this is going to be created in this so now which class do we want to join with okay so we want to join with customer all right okay and what is key cid right key is the cid and what is the foreign key so we need to opt basically select here the cust id it's not coming up that means it's not defined as a cust id right save it now this association is created okay i have a predefined class join this is nothing but a class join if you convert this into full sex full um, configuration see you have joined this class with the condition <laughs> this is what it gets translated to it's exactly a predefined class join now how do i use it i'm going to request this so that it remains in the standard format this is a more visual ui intuitive setting okay now let's go back to the report definition and i'm going to remove the customer information altogether okay so if you go there so here it here is an option to select association to see association but you cannot add association from here see there is no option to just like declare index or report or class you don't have add so all you got to do is just start typing the association name here customer so see you see association automatically coming up dot you can have cid for that matter right similarly customer dot first name okay save it now if you go to the data access tab pega will automatically add that okay and you don't have to um, basically com configure the join condition and all that because that's already configured in the association rule this rule right now if i run this report definition still gonna it's still getting me all the things that i wanted the first name and cid so that's association something that we see quite useful and reusable we can convert them those joints into association have them stored okay the other thing that we have is sub report so sub report is something like this okay select star from cust where cid in and then you say select CID from account 
where you, you have that right or not in for that matter right so this is the sub report this one is a different report that we use as a sub report so now in the same situation let's say that i want to see all the account uh, case information of all the accounts let me open the account first all the accounts where what is accounts now where status is active okay i want to see the customer information or i want to see yeah let's say customer information of all the accounts where account status is active right so I just need the customer not account information so now I'm going to save as I'm going to create a different one this time okay different report definition keeping that as it is and we'll say get customer details for active account so in this type the okay sorry there is one problem now this time okay custom id account right now this time i first need to get the list of active account right the cid of uh, active account so i'll create a report definition in the account class right because that's where the data is and i will fetch all the cids for the active accounts so let's create one For active accounts and this is going to be account where account status is equal to active okay correct now save it run this so i'm getting these cids all right these are the cids where account id is active currently this report definition okay it does have Okay, so I will just change this one to include all row in this class so that we have a little bit enough data. So this is fetching the data for the CIDs which are not active. They don't have an account anyway, right? So once we add that sub report with condition that okay, customer ID is in select CID from the account, right? That should be gone. So let's see. To add a report definition, you can add it here down there, okay, and say um, active CIDs. This is in the class account. right so try to save it this will say that you need to configure this right some condition has to be done there so click on the configure icon and see how many rows are being returned by the case it's a report more than one right what we want to have it do we want to include it in the filter left or right we want to include that in the right right because we will be matching the cid right cid in select cid so we want to include in right if you want to include in right then you don't have to match any rows you need to include all the rows right 
no matching has to be done from the sub report that cid equals to this or this equals to that right no mapping but the problem is and this is the column that it is facing and this is the alias we will be using in this report if you submit this it will say that if you have do not match row okay then you cannot return more than one column in the sub report because you are going to put it into the select uh, where cid in and then you say select cid only right you cannot have more than one column otherwise how will database know which column to compare right it can be only one cid selection in the inner query correct it should be select cid only if you look at your report definition we are selecting only cid so why is that error by default every report definition fetches the row key the primary key for every record you need to uncheck this then it will not fetch these two columns only cid will be fetched so now if i go back here and submit it okay let me cancel and do that again this time it accepted now i can save it so i have the report sub report and i said that i will be using that in the right hand at uh, this point of time we haven't included that in the filter criteria that that cid in part we still haven't done it that we do on the first query here we will say the cid or cust id is equal to the um, the prefix of the sub report active cids dot cid so that's where in is going in as an equal to so now if you run you will get the record only for the cids which were active in the account table which are, whose accounts are active in the account table now if i go back in the account table and update the status for this one to inactive and run the same report definition again this should not have c1 see so this is the use i mean it can be equal to or not equal to two you can have in and not in based on your requirement but this is how we configure and use sub reports so we covered association and sub report in this session thank you